In this video, I'm going to show you how we stain our moldings when we're doing stain grade. And um, we're going to do it the old fashioned way, just hand rubbed with the rag. If we're doing a big, a bunch of staining, we probably bust out the sprayer and spray them. But today we're using a rag and a min wax oil based stain. So as you can see, we already stained these three pieces and we only have these two pieces left to stain. This is red oak and it's a crown molding but this technique will work on any kind of moldings, baseboard, casing, it's all the same, really any wood. So basically I got my stain in this hand, got a, a saturated rag in this hand. This is very saturated in the stain. All I'm gonna do is just dip my rag in the stain, obviously. And then the way that I do it to get the actual color is I just throw it on there really thick, really, really thick. And I always work, I mean, you should see it like water on there. I always work like um, one piece at a time. That way I keep consistency. And you wanna keep it moving pretty quick. You don't wanna you know, work on this for five minutes and then you know, by the time you, you get to where you left off, there's gonna be a noticeable difference in the stain. So we're gonna put two coats on this. So this is the, head, the first coat. I do it heavily saturated. Just laying it in there real good, making sure I'm getting in all the grooves of the molding. Of course, this molding doesn't have too many grooves, but that's what you would do if you were using a heavily detailed molding. Just lay it on there real thick, make sure it gets in everywhere. And keep it moving fast, like I was saying, because you want that consistency. Once you get about six foot down, I like to kind of go back over it. Just make it consistent, and then I'll come back to where I left off. And then I'll start over a new section right here. And this is really easy. Once we put this on, we'll let it uh, cure, and we'll let it dry in there, and then we will use a... Uh, a spray can of lacquer to seal it and we'll show you guys the finished product at the end but like I was saying this is red oak so this is a beautiful wood when you put some stain on it the stain is actually a 50 50 mix of early American and uh, red mahogany that's what we found that would get us as close as we could get to the the color that we we're trying to achieve so you see me I'm pretty much just wiping it on there it sounds and it looks easy because it is easy. There's no issues here. Just make sure, like I said, that you really drench it, saturate it. Don't be too scared to put too much on there because if you put too much, you can just move it around the board. Be very liberal with it. Make sure when you get to the end, you get all of it because you never know which piece you're gonna need. The key, the key really to consistency is keep the stain moving. Just keep it moving down your whole piece and you should be good. The reason you really want to drench it on there with this um, stain grade stuff, because as you can see, if I just pass here, just like that, it doesn't get into all the fibers of the wood. I don't know if you can see that, but down in here, there's fibers especially on these swirls right here. All these, this wood grain design. All those are little fibers. And if you don't soak them with the stain, they will show up when the stain is dry. You really need to just, like when I see the fibers like that, I just drench it in there like that, just to make sure I get it all in there. Just like that. And then I keep moving, keeping the consistency going. Like I was saying earlier, as you can see, this is very easy. And if I were spraying this, I mean, it would be the same same principle. I would just spray the whole board and then wipe it down. That's the advantage of a sprayer is you get that consistency all the way through and then you just wipe it down. But if you just work in sections and you, you move fairly quickly with this rag, you can get it looking really nice. So, just like that. And should be good. Should be good with that. All these boards, if you look at them, they're all pretty consistent in the, the shading and everything of them. So that's pretty much it for the stain grade molding. I hope you learned something from this video, and I'll see you next time.